Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. It's hot out today. Back to Central Oregon. Spectacular view. Look at the mountain behind us. I love it's it. just gorgeous here. The sun is beating on our necks. <laughs> we'll see if it has any impact on this tasting. And this whiskey that was gifted to us by our friends EJ and MJ. EJ and MJ! Thank you so much for this sample. It's the first time seeing EJ and MJ on the channel, but it won't be the last. Five Sip Friday, we nose a glass, take five sips, trying to figure out what the heck it is we're drinking, say whether or not we like it, then it's revealed. Let's get right to it, onto the nose. Oh, that smells great. It's, it smells like grandma's house. What? Your grandma's house smells like butterscotch and oak? This smells like potpourri. There's a little floral And mustiness. <laughs> po potpourri and musty. That's what I got on this. No, we... Now I can't unsmell it. You, <laughs> you wrote me right into that one. <laughs> this is the craziest thing I've smelled in a while. Let's start the weekend. Ooh, a little nuttiness. Hmm. I'm going to need more sips on this one. I've said nothing. I'm just standing here enjoying it because it is quite good. This is interesting. I got a little watermelon, but it's like really layered back. I didn't get a ton of punch in the face flavors. It's no. very subtle. Yeah, very subtle. That's a perfect way to put it. I was going to say cohesive, but I think subtle is actually more accurate. Yeah. Let's go on to sip two. I'm going to take a smaller sip. That's a kind of a big gulp on that first one. I also want to mention that I'm very glad that the nose did not come forward onto the palate. <laughs> <laughs> Vanilla, a little bit of that nuttiness yeah. is now showing up on the nose and on the palate. Just a slight hint. Definitely vanilla. There's a little grape note on this too. Tiny bit of spice. A little bit of bubble gum. This is bubblicious. We've yeah. got the watermelon and the grape, but it's not like sweet. It's not really sweet at all. Two sips in, I am sort of leaning to something wine finished. Mm. I was thinking, actually from the nose, I was thinking this has to be finished. Are we on sip three? Three. All right. This one's going to be really tricky. I am having trouble even coming up with the proof on this one. This is a very tough sample. This, whatever this is, it is a, it's not a chameleon. It almost like masks what you're drinking. Yeah. It's subtle, like a daily drinker. It's easy drinking, like something I want to pair with a beer. It is flavorful enough to draw your interest without overpowering your taste buds. The finish is a little bit of spice and not much else for me. Wow, this is, I've never tasted anything like this, I don't think. Is this it four? Four. I'm going for proof on this one, I, I have lost. It's tricky. I feel like this one was made to be confusing. The proof doesn't stand out, the flavor notes, you have to really dig for some of these notes. Yeah. I like the way that this drinks though. Man, I'm all over the board on this one. I do like the way it drinks. It is pleasant and satisfying. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say I don't like it because I think I do. I'm just confused, I'm confused. by the subtlety. <laughs> Again, maybe it's this really, really hot sun, but I'm not getting a ton of impactful flavors. And the mm. finish, again, it's just a little bit of spice, maybe some caramel, not a ton else. Yeah. <laughs> this one is... This isn't helping. Let's just do sip five and find out what you this is. You just want to get on with it. Yeah. All right, straight we're to not, the end. We're not helping everyone watching right now. <laughs> mm. I was going to say there was a little bit of cider, but I think it's a little bit of a wine presence. Mmm. Yeah. Jeez. Jeez, oh, oh Here comes that nuttiness now on sip five. Talk on it. Just when I thought I had something going, now I'm super confused again. I know. Mmm. Well, this is a crapshoot. This could be a Knob Creek 100 proof. Oh! Or it could be Elijah Craig small batch. Or it could be something like an American whiskey finished in wine casks. This really is a super confusing sample. I don't know which way I'm going to go with it. Um, let's just hang in there for the cool transition. Yeah. And then we'll be right back. One, two, cool transition. <sighs> and we're back from that super cool transition. All right, what do you think this is? Okay, I'm going... This is totally unknown to me. I've never actually had this brand. <laughs> I don't know anything about it, yes. which is a shame because it's an Oregon-based distillery. But I'm going westward, and I'm going that this is finished in some sort of wine, and I think it's a white wine. 
You're going Westward American Single Malt based out of Portland with a white wine finish. What's yeah. your proof? And I'm going, uh, the proof is all over the place, but I'm going to go 94. I don't even yeah. know if it's 94. I love this guess. I really do. I think that this is a bourbon. I think it's a finished yeah. bourbon. And I'm so hesitant to offer a brand or anything else here. I'm really struggling. So I guess... Uh, knowing that they're in Oregon, d does that make it harder? I think it does. Well, that's kind of why I went with the guess that I did. I don't necessarily think this is a single malt, but Man. if that's what they do, that's what they do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say that it's a bourbon. I'm going to say that it's finished in port wine casks. Love it. I'm going to say that it's 90 proof, and I'm going to go... You have to pick a brand, right? You don't have to, but uh, it's probably fun. Probably should, though. I'm going to go Middle West Spirits out of Ohio. How <laughs> random. I love that. All right. What was your proof again? I said 94. I actually okay. think it could be like 89 or something. I'll be honest. I like every single one of your guesses better than mine. No. <laughs> it's definitely not a single ball. It's probably not from Ohio. <laughs> Thank you, EG and MJ, for this wonderful sample. You'll see them a couple more times this season. And what have we got here? A nice printed uh, document. That's always appreciated. That so is can nice. What the heck we got going on here? I love it. Oh my gosh, we were so wrong. Well, Holy... we were overdue for a real clunker. This is sample A we were drinking, right? That's correct. We got nothing. <laughs> nothing. All right, what do we got here? All right, this is... I'm almost embarrassed. Oh, no. This is an Old Elk barrel pick. It's a weeded whiskey cast strength bourbon. So at least we got that. Okay, hey, one thing. It's a 50-50 two-barrel... Cast strength? <laughs> oh, no. I know. It's a 50-50 two-barrel blend, and it came in... I can't believe it. 114.1. What? It drank like it was 90. Do you know what's really strange about Old Elk stuff? Every yeah. time we've had it on Five Shit Friday, we've been blown away by how easy it drinks for such a high proof. Yeah. That has carried through here. So this is a blend between a weeded whiskey and a weeded bourbon. Uh, yeah, there was no way we were going to guess this right. And it's not finished. It doesn't look like 114 proof. So it continues to be very palatable, very nice. We got so many weird notes on it. Who could figure out where this comes from? But I can't believe it's cask strength as subtle as it is. Yeah, I can't either. And I'm a little bit bummed because, I don't know, I felt fairly excited about my guess. You were guess. pretty pumped. I don't not, I need you, I need to be more conservative because I'm better apparently then. You guessed Oregon, I guessed Ohio. <laughs> it's right in the middle, so if you average it all out, I think we did pretty good. Oh boy. Thank you very much for such a tricky sample, EJ and MJ, and from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. Cheers. Of course this is old elk. At least it's pretty out there.